What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna to talk about Tesla's potential for building another Gigafactory in the US to manufacture the Cybertruck and more Model Y vehicles. We have just gotten a tweet from Elon Musk last night um, saying that the company is scouting locations for Gigafactory, for Cybertruck Gigafactory will be Central USA. Um, he also replied to that saying Model Y production for the East Coast too. He did clarify, um, some people were confused about like, is this gonna mean two factories, one for Model Y, one for Cybertruck? He clarified it would be one factory. Um, this building on rumors of an Elon Musk tweet about a month ago saying he was um, looking for a Texas Gigafactory or considering opening up one there, held, held a poll. Um, tweeted that from Austin that got all the speculation going about, you know, made in Texas, a pickup truck, the cyber truck. Um, but now uh, Elon Musk is sort of broadening that search. Actually, TechCrunch is reporting and a couple other people from unnamed sources that Tesla is considering Nashville um, as potentially one of the sites for this central USA gigafactory. So what does this mean? Um, what do I think about this? Um, I think this actually ties into something we saw on Tesla's 10K. Um, they upped their CapEx guidance, basically expenditures for investments for future factories and equipment. Um, this was really interesting and I was wondering, you know, does this imply an investment in battery technology? And then we got news about this new Gigafactory. So um, kind of behind the scenes, it seems like Tesla's accelerated the plans um, for this new US factory. You know, at the same time, you know, Tesla's been in crazy expansion mode right now. Um, of course, they have their Fremont, California factory where they're even expanding right now to build production for the Model Y. Um, they have their Gigafactory in Nevada where they build batteries. They have the solar factory in Buffalo where they're ramping the solar roof. They just built the factory from scratch in China. Um, which is getting production off the ground. Now they're uh, already breaking ground on the factory in Berlin, um, which is apparently rumored to start production in 2021. So Tesla in a massive expansion mode, um, spending a ton of money on more factories to increase supply so they can build more cars and get way, way bigger. Um, That's why a lot of us are super excited about the growth potential. You know, Tesla's typically been limited by how many cars they can produce. Um, it's basically how many cars they sell. So them increasing production means great things for the sales in the coming years. So, you know, what do I think about the Cybertruck Gigafactory? Um, I think it's interesting. It was basically just a rumor up until now, but to see Elon tweet this basically confirms it. Um, I still think Texas is a great location. There's a bunch of SpaceX facilities there. Um, SpaceX is expanding in a huge way um, to build more Starships, it sounds like, in Texas. I mean, they already have some sort of launch facility there. So I think it would make sense um, from that perspective for Elon to do some sort of Cybertruck thing. Remember the Cybertruck also does have a crossover with SpaceX and that it uses some of that same stainless steel. So I wonder if that'll work into the decision somehow. Um, additionally, just pickup trucks are the, the hub of that is in Texas. Um, so I think it would be cool to say the Cybertruck is built in the USA, built in Texas. Um, that would you know convert a lot of those hardcore um, you know pick internal combustion engine pickup truck buyers maybe, or I don't know. I think that would just be a cool story. Um, but then on the flip side, Texas is one of those few states that doesn't actually allow Tesla to sell directly to consumers. Um, they have a really strong uh, dealership association, which has been lobbying to not let Tesla sell. I'm actually working working on an interview um, with Sean Mitchell about this whole legal infrastructure that is super messed up about that. So that's coming out soon. But anyway, so Texas, I think is one location. I actually think that's still the top choice for this new Gigafactory. Um, and then Elon Musk, you know, floating that Nashville, you know, uh, did they leak that on purpose or is Nashville actually being considered? Um, Nashville is actually a hub for a bunch of electric vehicle manufacturing. I think Volkswagen is planning on investing there. Nissan building the Leaf um, around Tennessee as well. So you do have a hub of vehicle manufacturing um, in Nashville that would be central. Um, so I don't know. I think Tesla is in the process of scouting a couple locations. My guess is they announce a location maybe six months to a year from now, start production or start actually constructing that site um, maybe in one to two years. Maybe this starts production 2022, 2023. They do say that the Cybertruck is expected to begin deliveries in late 2021, but it's a Tesla timeline, so you never know. And that just seems too soon to get a new factory built off the ground from scratch. But when you think about Tesla, I mean, their US capacity has been totally constrained um, for some time. They took over this plant in Fremont, California. There was an old GM joint venture. Um, they've since hit that to basically capacity. It was building about 500,000 cars a year at its peak. Now Tesla's building about 500,000 cars there um, right now. They've hit capacity. They are expanding Model Y, but they're totally full to the brim. So they need new um, capacity for the US. And that's what this new factory will be for the Cybertruck, which is expected. Um, it looks like potentially over half a million people have already pre-ordered it. Who knows what the end steady state demand will be. My prediction is between 100 to 200 to 300,000 units per year. So uh, that's gonna be a huge facility and a, a very innovative production process as well for the Cybertruck with that new sort of exoskeleton stainless steel frame. So they're gonna build all that new production line at this new factory. And then additionally, um, the Model Y, which Tesla's projecting to be their best selling uh, vehicle by sales volume ever, potentially over 500,000 units per year. Um, they're just gonna need more capacity to build that for the East Coast of the US. And so this new, uh, 
essential USA Giga Factory will be a hybrid Cybertruck Model Y to start. So um, interesting. I think the big news here is that we got confirmation that Tesla is moving forward um, and is actually, it's not just like a rumor of Elon being like, should we do a Texas Giga Factory? It's like, no, we are actively scouting. Um, I think the process here, Elon Musk, replied to the Wall Street Journal giving a little bit more clarity saying what you know goes into their decision making process incentives play a role so do logistics costs access to a large workforce with a wide range of talents and quality of life um, to me Texas Austin area seems like a great choice I guess Tennessee Nashville I don't know too much about that but that those are sounding like the top two choices for now but um, we'll see what Tesla actually announces um, my guess is no concrete groundbreaking plans on this um, for at least another six to nine months though because Tesla has so much other stuff going on but this is also another reason why Tesla may have done that capital raise and why they have upped their capex guidance so lots of things to consider um, let me know what you think in the comments below but it looks like we have another gigafactory coming to the U.S. from Tesla. Um, please leave your guess of whether you think it's in Texas or any other crazy guesses um, in the comments, and I'd love to check those out. Anyway, this is Hyperchange. Shout out to our Patreon supporters and producers. I'll see you all next time. Peace.